Hey everybody, I'm Kirby Bridges. I'm a tennis pro at EssentialTennis.com. And today we have Dr. Casey Cordial hanging out with us and answering some really burning questions for our viewers all about how we can do some self-treatment on tennis elbow and how it's actually connected to the shoulder. And these are some exercises that you can do at home. And Casey, who has been touring around with Jack Sock and a lot of other pros, is here to, to tell us how to take care of ourselves. So Casey, how do I treat my horrible tennis elbow? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, first of all. I mean, it's important to understand a little bit about what's going on in the elbow and why it's hurting and why it might not be here is the source of the pain. And that's why we're gonna look up the whole kinetic chain, meaning the whole upper limb um, with the shoulder, the thoracic spine, the elbow wrist, everything there. But, um, you know, generally when people get pain with their, you know, tennis elbow, is uh, it's, a, it's an overuse type injury. And so a couple things important to look at is, you know, quick is in equipment. A lot of times is your, you know, is your tension high on your strings? Is your grip, you know, That's grip really size too, too big? Uh, do you grip it too tight? These are things that, you know, we've, we've mixed around with s some guys that start getting tension in their elbow. Because generally their technique is so well, it's not something like that, but it, it's an equipment issue. Mm -hmm. So I think to start, you know, check your equipment, uh, check your technique, and then start, you know, looking up your chain. You know, how's your, can your, does your wrist move like a wrist, elbow move like an elbow, shoulder like a shoulder? Mm -hmm. If that all checks out, um, you know, go right to the spot and uh, basically where these extensors, these, these muscles of the back of your forearm all insert onto this radial head, this bone here. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is that, that these That's tendons actually- That's where I feel excruci excruciating pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your body's basically, um, there has kind of adapted to the stresses and strains on it. So what, what's happening within this tendon is it's literally starting to degenerate. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways. We're gonna, we're gonna reinitiate the healing process with um, some, some self-release and innately, you're doing it right there. That's the first oh, thing I'm cool, gonna show you. Oh, cool, great. <laughs> is, is right there, just get on it and you're gonna rub, just like she's okay. doing it, is, is, is a cross. So the tendons go this way, she's going perpendicular to it. That's, that's important for the, the initiation of remodeling the fibers. So you can get in there and just strum that tendon. And it's I like recommend to do that, you know, for three, five, seven minutes until that thing goes numb. Okay? And okay. do that every other day. And um, the next thing is just some self myofascial release, you could call it. Okay. Is, is you're just gonna kind of work through these forearm muscles and just try to lengthen them out a little bit. Like this? So, Similar, you, you could do that, okay. but grab your thumb and put it on those muscles okay. and just kind of pinch down a little bit and then go into wrist extension and flexion. Okay. Okay, so and then work your way down that forearm and you will find Whoa. a spot that is tender wow. and work through that spot three to five passes or until that spot releases and just kind of work down okay. your forearm through the middle through the outside edges, through the inside, where the different muscles kind of traverse. Okay. So uh, that's a that's a quick kind of myofascial uh, demonstration that that you can do on your own. Well, and it's so easy. It's something that you know you caught me doing this. I I feel like I'm always doing this, yeah. like whether I'm on court or I'm in the office. I just I just do it subconsciously, but I didn't realize that you have to do it for. Three, three to five minutes exactly. to, That's, to really make a difference. Yep, and with the tendon, we're, we're basically just reinitiating a healing response to that that area. So. That's, that's great. In the office, that's my first treatment. Whether I use uh, an acupuncture needle, um, you know, to stimulate that process, or if I actually use my finger, it's exactly what I'll do. And it's something you can do at home. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, and then a, a couple exercises that we can begin with is, is um, just some forearm, 
flexors so you can grab a stress ball, a tennis ball, baseball, whatever, and just start gripping that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start working the flexors of the forearm. So go ahead and do a couple demonstrations okay. of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I just flex the forearm yep, like you're this? You're just squeezing oh, a bit. Just squeezing. Good. I and feel then like my grip strength the, isn't great. Turn the ball over and, okay. and drop it, catch it, drop it, catch it. Yeah. You'll start feeling those muscles burn a little bit. Yeah, I'm feeling it at the top of my forearm. <laughs> Another simple way is we don't have a rubber band in here, but you can take a rubber band, put it around your hand and just open up with it. Okay. So that's another good one. Um, cool. A couple um, band exercises. Many people carry this in their bag, right? Mm -hmm. A band, TheraBand, tubing, whatever you have. But let's demonstrate just a uh, wrist flexion exercise to start. Okay. So she's going to arms straight out and just pull straight down. Good. Any harder good. than this? So what I'm looking for is you're just going to get a burn between 15 and 20 reps. Okay. okay? I think I will feel that burn yeah. very soon. Yes. <laughs> and then the next progression from this to work on the extensor tendon is she's going to go into wrist extension with very little tension. Okay. She's going to go into that extension, extension this way, and then I'm going to pull tight on the band and then she's going to let down slow. and then. No tension. Tension. That's One pretty tough, time. you guys. Up. Pull tension down. Why this is important is we're creating a, it's called an eccentric load to this tendon. So it's lengthening the muscle under tension, which, uh, which is really important with these types of injuries. And then we're going to go up to the shoulder complex and work on this. Um, uh, shoulder blade and back scapular muscles. So I'm gonna have you grip both okay. and you're gonna make a T is what I call it, where you're just pulling back, okay. pinching those shoulder blades together. So I'm kind of flying. Yep. Like this? Yep. Well, that's hard. But I feel it, it's like um, um, just squeezing my shoulder blades yeah, together in the back. Retracting, yes. So it's less of a shoulder exercise right now as it is a back exercise. Okay. So you're gonna do that and then you're gonna make a W. Okay. So with both arms and same thing, pull back. For the win? Yep. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good, All and right. then the last one, I want you to make an A with your body where you're pulling down. All right, so I'm just gonna get Canadian with it. Just A. <laughs> 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 or the font, he's from Wisconsin, right? <laughs> Good. And so I'll explain why that's important is we just hit her scapular uh, retraction muscles, lower trap, rhomboids, middle trap, upper trap. And the reason that's important is, you know, with our serve, we're, we're decelerating the arm and we need those muscles to be able to activate because if they don't, it will put a lot of strain as it goes down. And with tennis elbow, a lot of times that can, that can result into the elbow. So it's important not to dress to address the only the um, the area of pain, but to kind of look proximal and distal to that area too. Awesome. Well, Casey, thank you so much for these tips. I know that I'm going to be taking them home with me and I have some new ones to be working on with my bands. Um, this kind of these kind of exercises have always been so, so helpful for me and yeah. these are brand new ones. So um, we hope that you found this helpful, and if you did, give us a like and continue the conversation in the comments below. Thank you so much, you and thank you for watching. For hundreds of free digital tennis lessons, head over to EssentialTennis.com right now. More wins and more fun on the court is right around the corner. You'll even get a free gift just for stopping by. Simply click the link at the top of any page.